This is Dave Simon. We're going to play a little game today, have a little competition. Everyone likes a little competition now and then. Um, yesterday, I made a video looking at different websites of music schools and set a criteria to see who, which music school had the best website or the most effective website. And I thought it would be good today to go to the, some of the top leaders in the marketing, messaging, and branding industry and look at their websites and apply the same criteria to them to see what we can learn from the masters. So what we have here is we have Neil Patel, Gary Vaynerchuk, Seth Godin, and Donald Miller's site. I'm, I'm gonna actually hop over here to this white page real quick. And what we're gonna do is we're first gonna do the grunt test. The grunt test is it's a Donald Miller idea where you should be able to look at a website and within two seconds identify, be able to identify the name of the, the company, what service they provide, and what benefit they have to, to offer you. So let's first do the grunt test for all three, and let's see how quickly we can identify who they are, what they do, and how they can enhance our lives. So here we go, Donald Miller's the Story Brand website. Let's go over to Seth Godin. Gary Vaynerchuk. And Neil Patel. Okay, so the grunt test. Probably inclined to give it to Donald Miller. Workshops to help clarify your message. Seth Godin it was really confusing as to what his whole deal is and what he's doing. And Gary Vaynerchuk, same thing. What's this about? And Neil Patel, I think his is, is also really good. How to generate all these visitors a month through SEO. Okay, so either him or, or Donald Miller. Now, keep in mind, Gary Vaynerchuk and Seth Godin, they're probably, they're, pretty confident in, the, in their brand. If you're going to their website, you know who they are. I mean, these are both really big, big names. Donald Miller, not as much, and definitely not Neil Patel. He's more of a younger guy kind of coming up. So you s notice how the, um, you know, these, veteran, th these veterans aren't telling you what they do. And, um, they're banking on that you know you know who they are. So I'd give it to Donald Miller in terms of passing the grunt test. And hey, look, he's the guy that came up with the idea of the grunt test, so it should only make sense. So let's talk about um, design, clean design that lacks clutter. Let's start over here with Neil Patel. I mean, actually, I'm going to do him last because this is a pretty uh, radical website, or dramatically different, I should say. So this is... This is really good to look at Donald Miller's website because he talks a lot out of all these four people. He talks the most about how to lay out your website and he's doing it or he better be doing it to the T because and he is here. He's got um, his logo story brand. He always says at the bottom, you know, middle section of your above the fold section, you should have a call to action. His is register now. And then he's got the same button right there, but he talks a lot about this triangle that exists on, or that should exist on your website and that the eye initially goes to the logo and then it, or the upper left-hand corner, the eye wants to drop down and then drop back up. So he's got, he's hitting all those points. And then look up here, he's got this thing for this registration for a workshop. This is clearly not his main selling point. This will probably, go away in November and I'll maybe have some new little uh, promotion there. He's got also this little help button here. That's interesting. Um, but really what's unique about his website and I'm seeing this more and more is where he's got this kind of looped up video and look how he's got it going in, in, in slow motion. You're sort of seeing, um, you know, instead of a single photograph of a person engaged with the product, he's really taking you into his, into his world and, allows you to imagine yourself being at, at this event. And um, again, this is really nice. Do you struggle with y your message? He's really, you know, he's got pain point and then he's 
um, mapping out these different pain, pain points. Um, is explaining what you do too complicated? Do you la did your last marketing effort flop? He's identifying all these struggles that business owners might have. Does marketing make your brain hurt? Clearly what he's implying to you is that he is gonna give you the answer to all, all of these problems. So this is you know just really great. And then look at this, another call to action. He talks about this, where you wanna have multiple call to actions. You never know at what point a prospective visitor to your website is gonna to decide to sign up. You know, let's say, you know, they don't, let's say they get all the way to the bottom. Okay, you know what, this really looks great. Now I wanna sign up, boom, register now. There it is, let's see if he has any more. Scroll in, I bet you he's gonna have another one. Another register now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's the thing in Nashville. And now he's got this, um, look at this, every like, you know, he just, he, it looks like he's got about four or five call to actions on this. Okay, so um, really good. Donald Miller with um, with a clean design. He doesn't need me to tell him that. Okay, so here's Seth Godin. Again, really clean. Notice how all these websites, this whole section is filled up with an image. In Donald Miller's case, it's it's a video. Let me scroll back up. Seth Godin, it's just a single image. And um, so real clean design. I got to remember, we're, we're talking about clarity in, in design. I, I got, I got uh, a little sidetracked with story brand. Same thing here, just really clean, a single image. You don't even see Gary Vaynerchuk. It's interesting, you see him at work and you see all the people watching him. Look at that guy right there. He's looking, looking at the camera. And um, just a few menu items there at the top. Okay, let's look at Neil Patel. Very, very dramatically different design. I've never seen an, an, anything like this. So, you know, he, he's breaking out of the um, Donald Miller web design. No logo here, but he does have right here in the middle a call that is called action. Um, and, okay, so when it comes to clean design, I mean, I think they're all really great. I'd maybe, um, for me personally, I find, I don't know, I'd probably find this one the, mo the, the most uh, appealing um, in terms of it, it, its cleanness. Actually, I kind of feel like Donald Miller, the, the king of website design, his is potentially a little bit... Um, not potentially, but it is a little bit busier than than the, the other ones. Okay, so let's look at messaging. You know these guys are gonna be strong here. I mean, if these you know if these guys don't have website great websites, you can't expect yourself ever to have a great one. Okay, so his message is workshops to help clarify your message. I mean, that's right out of he talks about just real simple message. This is what we do. What do we do? We have workshops to help clarify your message. And then he goes um, a step deeper and says, revolutionize your marketing, connect with customers, grow your company. These are all promises that we're going to that we're making. We're helping you clarify your message. How? But we're going to help you revolutionize your marketing help you connect with customers, and more importantly, last but not least, grow your company. That's what we're in it, in, in it for. Okay, let's look at Seth Godin's website. Um, now, now, Seth, is, is, is he, he's a pretty deep dude. He um, blogs and um, has a, a podcast really about just kind of deeper, he, he's more philosophical. He gets into... Um, not so much what to do in your business, but how to think about your, your business. And um, I think that picture here really captures it. You know, he's deep in thought. He's always kind of, um, you know, he's kind of an, an, an eccentric dude. Because your work matters. Okay, that's, that's so him. Short and sweet and provocative. Because your work matters matters. He's basically saying, I do what I do. I'm here to help you because your work matters. You're doing work that's having an impact in, in the world. And all he wants you to do is subscribe to his blog. Okay, so um, Gary Vaynerchuk, nothing. He's got no message here. 
that here he's got with this call to action. So this kind of ties in with, you know, some people think Gary Vaynerchuk, oh, he's, you know, he's really confident, maybe a, a little cocky. He is confident and he is a little cocky, but he uses that to his advantage. People are drawn to him because of that, because he delivers um, the goods. You know, if you follow him, if you read his stuff, listen to him, he will fill your brain up with all kinds of, of uh, awesome strategies to help grow your business. So this is pretty radical. Neil Patel, um, his messaging is how to generate 1 million visitors a month through SEO. We have to assume, first of all, where did he get this number? Somebody is, is producing that number. It's probably him. That's my guess. But who doesn't want to generate a lot of visitors through, through SEO? Meaning unpaid efforts on, on the internet. Okay, so when it comes to messaging, um, again, I'd go with Neil Patel or Donald Miller, probably Donald Miller workshops to help clarify your message. I mean, the language is so simple. The language here, um, it just takes a little bit longer to read his. And it's interesting that he has that number. Why not just say how to generate more visitors through SEO? Um, I mean, what he's saying here is, is fine. So I'd, I'd give the messaging prize to Donald Miller. Let's talk about call to action. They all have um, interesting calls to action. We'll go with Donald Miller first. He's got, you know, his register. He's got his call to action, call to action. We, you know, we talked a, a little bit uh, uh, about this. I'm surprised that he has the watch video right there. I've seen the video. It is, it is a great video. I'm just surprised he didn't put it down here or have it um, kind of, you know, stream, you know, having showing it available on his on on the website so great call to action i mean he's you know following a little bit of the donald miller design instead of a logo here i mean like you don't even know who this is just looking at, at his website he i'm sure there was a big conversation when they were designing it whether to put a logo there or not instead he's just got subscribed to my blog he just wants to capture your email. He wants you to become a part of his network and open up a line of communication. He's not saying buy. He's saying subscribe, subscribe. Let's scroll down. Um, let's see if he's got another. Here's go to my podcast. He's just giving away stuff. Finally, you're starting to like, ah, okay, here comes. Now we're getting a little more salesy. He's uh, starting to sell a, a little bit now. Okay, so looks really good. Nice call to action. Looks at Gary Vaynerchuk above the fold. No call to action. Nothing. Except here, order clouds and dirt sneakers today. Who? What's that? I don't know. I mean, I do know I've heard him talk about that, but first time visitor, you wouldn't know. What he does, we're not seeing here, is that the very first time I went to his website, there was a little button here that said, first time visitor, and it caught my eye. Because again, these guys talk about how that upper left-hand corner is super important. He just has his name there. But after I went back to his website a second time, it, it went away. No call to action. You go down a little bit. And now here you get this, you know, subscribe button. And then Neil Patel, I love his call to action. Yes, I want Neil to teach me how to grow my business. Really different. You know, everyone else is like, you know, register. Um... What says his is subscribe, nothing. Well, Gary Vaynerchuk has subscribed there. Neil Patel is, yes, I want to teach my, teach me, I want Neil to teach me how to grow my business. It's real specific, really clear. All he wants you to do is um, similar to Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm sorry, similar to Seth Godin in that he just wants you to subscribe. So who's being, who's more, well, these guys are both bald. That's awesome. So am I. So we love bald people. And, um, but who's doing a better job to get you to subscribe? Seth or Neil? I'd probably go with Seth. Subscribe to my blog. Um, 
this this is great though. He's got a sales pitch, and clearly you know um, that for Neil to tell you how to grow your business, there probably is some type of fee you have to pay for. But I'll tell you this much: this guy, like everybody else here, has tons of free content to help help you grow your business. So that's. Um, my overview of Neil Patel, Gary Vaynerchuk, Seth Godin, and Donald Miller's story brand, all just great, great minds, great leaders in the marketing branding space. And um, I have a note. I have it scheduled on my calendar every six months to check out their websites just to kind of see how, how they're doing. Here's another guy I want to share with you who I really I, I love what he does. But take a look at his website. Sorry, Jay. I, I hate to do this to you. Um, huge fan of Jay Abraham. Looks like a little bit of a more dated w website. He's really not delivering on the same level as these guys. And maybe, you know, he, he deals with you know big, big clients, big names. This is a little bit more of a corporate-looking website. Not as young, not as modern, not as as hip as as these guys, um, or I should say, I mean, want you want to talk about hip, but um, he's a huge success. So it'll be interesting. I'm I'm going to check back in to Jay Abraham's website in six months. It'll be interesting to see what he does with it and and where he goes. Maybe he'll just keep it as is. So those are my uh, websites to review to learn from today. Hope you find or found